Hello Intercoast here, I'm just doing a new series on programming on the ZX Spectrum. Now I don't know how to program on the ZX Spectrum, I did just sort of have a little go at it when I was younger, just printing my name and you know, making it beep and that sort of thing. So I'm going to go through a few programming books and see if I can pick up um, how to program. Now this first video is just to show you how to save programs if you want to do this as well. I'm using a program called Fuse, which is a free emulator. Um, I've set it to plus three, um, basically so I can use the uh, basic on here and type in the words rather than remembering where the different keys are on the 48k spectrum because that can be quite difficult. You have to hold down control keys and press different functions and that sort of thing to get the, the uh, keys to work. On the plus two and the plus three, you can just type the words in. But first of all, on this one, and we're not actually going to do any programming on this one, I'm just going to show you how to save your programs because um, I was looking online and it's not really that clear. So first of all, you go into Media, go to Tape, uh, apparently you have to clear it first, and then uh, go back into Tape, and then we want to uh, write and then you name what you want your program to be called. Um, our first program is going to be called Names. Um, and then you want to do dot, uh, dot .tap for tape. And that's the, um, the file it supports. So we've got Names and Tape. So you save that. Then if you um, then save as a sap, uh, snapshot it will then save it to that file. So if we just do a quick, uh, just go to basic and just go 10 print um, hello. And then if you run the program, it just says hello. Now if you want to save that program, you go to file, save snapshot. Now you've got your names of your tapes on here. Save it to that one and replace. And then, even if we reset the machine, if, hopefully, if we now open the name program, it brings it back up and we can run it again. So, yeah, that's how to save on Fuse. And uh, in the next video, we will be doing our first program. Thanks for watching, please remember to thumb up the video and uh, subscribe if you like it. Cheers.